Hey guys, I'm back again. I wanted to make another little video about a pipe that I cleaned up and refurbished and found in an antique shop. This one's already available on my Etsy, but I just wanted to make a video of it and realized I hadn't actually done a video of it. Smoking uh, some of the Virginia Flake, the fourth generation in this uh, Master Geppetto pipe. It's a natural stain. I guess it's not really stained, but it's, it's a natural briar, but it's, it's darkened quite a bit. Um, this is actually a little history about this pipe. This was a best man gift. And it's actually my very first pipe. It's technically what I kind of learned how to smoke a pipe in, so. And I didn't damage it or burn it out or anything like that. There's no cracks inside the bowl or anything. Um, yeah, so let's talk about that little pipe. I have it right here with me. I'll show you guys what it is. And this one's kind of fun to fix up too. This little pipe right here. It's all black. It's rusticated. Stem is in good shape. The bowl is in good shape. I did re carbon the inside of that though like I do with a lot of my the vintage pipes that I work on because I'll ream them out and then I'll just kind of reapply the, the carbon and it's a very natural one it doesn't affect the flavor or anything like that but this is a little thermo filter pipe sorry it's kind of windy it's about to blow the bag away this is a thermo filter pipe these are Italian made by Fratelli Rossi. The stem is plastic or nylon. It's not um, not vulcanite, but as you might have guessed, yeah, I did polish up all the aluminum too. It does take a filter, six millimeter to be exact. A little thermal filter pipe. Pretty lightweight. Made by Fratelli Rossi in Varase, Italy, I think is where it's at. Um, basically, they were made from 64 to 74, so that pipe could be from 1964 or it could be 1974 um, but they weren't really known for like a high quality think of a uh, I mean a lot of guys like Dr. Grabo's and nothing wrong with Dr. Grabo but think kind of like along the lines of that you know they were just cranked out um, you know lots of them were made so it's not really a rare pipe or anything like that but it is in pretty good condition inside the bowl there was a little bit of um, what you could almost say like abuse or something I guess um, or part of the bowl and it might have just come like that too I don't know um, where there's kind of like a crack inside of the bowl it didn't I don't believe it went all the way through but just kind of a, a little cavity inside the bowl but I recarboned it all and it obviously didn't affect whoever had the pipe before but yeah just want to make a little video on that pipe just to kind of show it off i'll show some images you know like always at the end of the video and um yeah that one is available on my etsy so keep your pipe smoking guys and have a good rest of your day